Hi guys, it's Justine and today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video. So I'm actually going to be showing you two bags today. My main purse, which is this big black one, and, and then I have this smaller clutch that I'm also going to be showing you. So this bag, I have to read it, is an MG Collection Haley Studded Structure Satchel Shoulder Bag. I got it off Amazon. I think it was about like $45. And this is probably the fanciest bag I've ever owned. I love it. I use both of these straps. The only bad thing I have to say about this is that both of these straps are just one shoulder straps. And when I wear a purse, I prefer to wear it like cross over my shoulder that way. I don't know what it's called. So that's my the only downside to this purse. But overall, I love it. I think it's really fancy and it's very good quality. Um, and yeah, this was actually a present to myself a few months ago because I just re recently, I just recently got my associate's degree. I'm still working towards my bachelor's, but this was my present to myself for getting my associate's degree. And so I'm going to start off with something that I don't carry every day, and that is my makeup bag. I only throw this in my purse before I go on big trips or before I know I'm going to need makeup that day. But I, I'm, I'm not the kind of person that touches my makeup up throughout the day. I just do it, and then I leave it, and then I usually sleep in it. And so, I don't know. I'm just very chill about my makeup. So I'm going to show you what I have in my makeup bag to start us off. I just have a CoverGirl powdered foundation. I have a LA Colors Concealer, which is, if you don't know what LA Colors is, it's like Dollar Tree brand makeup. I usually keep like my cheaper makeup in this bag because it's smaller. If I lose it, it's not a big deal. I'm afraid of taking my high-end products out places. I also have this NYX Eyebrow Palette, which this is actually pretty good because it's it's not as good as um, like the Too Faced Eyebrow Palette. But since it's drugstore and it's cheap, it's pretty good and I actually really love this. I have two Sephora lip glosses. Um, this one is in Peach Shimmer and this one is in Neutral Rose. Both of these are really pretty. I love them. I have a Benefit Bad Gal Lash Mascara in a travel size. And then a Claire's Eyeshadow Palette. I've had this forever. I don't know if you can see the colors. Hold on. It's just neutral colors for if I want to throw on some eyeshadow on the go. A bunch of Eco Tools eyeshadow brushes. I really love these. And then I have this cute little tweezers. They're like scissors. These, I prefer normal tweezers to these, but I don't like taking my normal tweezers out places because I don't want to lose them, so I have to take these ones when I go places. Um, just Dollar Tree liquid eyeliner. Um, a... A nail file for, you know, the whole nail, the buff, the file, the condition, the s smooth, all that jazz. Then I have a couple hair ties, um, a couple bobby pins, a bunch of bobby pins. And then I have this, um, I think this is supposed to, no, this is CoverGirl Brow and Eye Makers. It's sh sharpened, so I don't know what it is. But it's in the color um, Honey Brown, which this isn't the best color for my eyebrows. It's a little too light, but it's for my Go Up Blistex Chapstick. And another cute little nail file with a cute little design on it. And then I have it all up in an Ipsy Glam Bag. I think this was the September Glam Bag, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I love these Ipsy Glam Bags for, for this reason. I can just like put all my crap in them. Also, by the way, since we're on the subject of makeup, if you want to see this makeup look, um, I will put the description in the bottom. It should be my last video. So my next one is another Ipsy bag. This is the, I think this is the August Ipsy bag, but I use it for my school tools. But the thing is, most of my pens and pencils and stuff, I take them out of here and I don't put them back in here. So they're all at the bottom of my purse. But I have a couple of just plain markers, but I use these as highlighters. Um, I have this Sharpie oil-based paint marker. I don't know. It's like a metallic Sharpie and it's in magenta. And then I have a bunch of cute like um, paper clips. I have these two, I don't know if you can see. 
I have these two like big paper clips. I have these little clippy paper clips. And then I have a bunch of ones with really cute designs. A couple of rings. A couple of dresses with a normal bobby pin attached because I can't get it off. A couple of dresses. A couple of purses with another little bobby pin attached. And then a little shoe just for homework assignments and stuff. And then I just have a bunch of normal plain bobby pins. Not bobby pins. Did I, have I been saying bobby pins this whole time? Paper clips. I love watching what's in my purse videos. They're one of my favorite videos to watch. I don't know why. I think they just give me ideas of what other crap I can throw in my purse that I'm not going to use every day. Okay, so I have a water bottle that's unopened. I have a hand sanitizer. This is a really big hand sanitizer. Um, I don't know why I need a hand sanitizer this big, but apparently I do. I also have a Natural Inspirations Lavender y Ylang hand cream. Headphones. And then my wallet, which I also, I got this wallet to match this purse. They're both like a fake like alligator leather, but this one's pink, it opens up like this, and all I have in here is like my ID, my school ID, um, debit card, AAA card, library card, and then I also have, ooh, I'll show this one though, and then I have my Starbucks gold card, which I just got in August, and I'm very proud of my Starbucks gold card because I don't drink, I know if you look at my Instagram, it probably looks like I drink Starbucks a lot because I post every time I get a Starbucks, but I really don't get Starbucks that often. So what I did to get my Starbucks card is I just gave it to my husband because he gets Starbucks almost every day and then he pretty much got me the gold card for me, but I have my name on it. So then I have these, this sunglass case. I got this case off of eBay for like 99 cents and then just some cheap aviators in there. And I will put these on. Why not? And they're dirty. And then I have a bunch of trash. Some tissues from Target. I have my keys, which are on a World of Warcraft lanyard that my mom got for me. I have another lotion, Ultra Repair Cream. Oh, this one's from an Ipsy bag. I've never used this, but I threw it in there and it went straight to the bottom. Ooh, I have a Vaseline Lip Therapy for rosy lips. I actually really love this. I put it on if I didn't have a bunch of lip gloss or a bunch of lipstick on. I have some grape Tic Tacs. A Bear Republic's Tinted Face Mineral Sunscreen, another thing that I've never used but I got from Ipsy and so I threw it in my purse. A Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean Lip Balm, I love this, this is one of my favorite chapsticks, it smells so good. And I have my USB for school, a bunch of pens. This is probably a good thing to do this video so I can put these all these pens and pencils back in my pencil bag. I have two purse hooks. This one's a rose that I got of eBay. And this one, I think someone gave this one to me, but I don't remember. And then I got this butterfly one. And I never use these. I don't know why I have two of them, but you unfold them like this and you put them, when you go out, you're supposed to put them on like a table and put your purse here to keep it from getting dirty, but I just put it on the back of my chair because I'm always too lazy to just dig these out, but ooh, I'll put these right here, but I mean they're cute and they both match my bag, and another hand cream, the Aries hand cream, another Ipsy one that I have never used. The last thing I have in here is just like a random like sunglasses protective bag that don't have sunglasses in them. So that's it for this bag. Now I have to organize everything and put it back inside. But that was a quick and easy way to clean this out actually because I had a lot of trash plus all the pens at the bottom. 
And yeah, let's move on to my next bag. So this bag is now I have my little note paper covered up and I can't see what I wrote. Okay. So this bag is a BMC faux leather diamond quilted pattern mini handbag clutch. I'm just going to link the links to the bags um, down below because I got them both off Amazon. And this is in the color, I think this is an apricot, but it's, it, I don't think this is an apricot color. I think this is a bean color, but it doesn't bother me because I still really love this color. And if you look at the handle, the handle is so pretty. It's like a normal handle, but it's like wrapped in like chains. I think that's so cute, but it has like that quilted design. Then you, when you open it, it's just a snap open. Mine got wet, and so the, um, the dye on the, what's it called? The dye on the stitching leaked, and so it's stained a little bit, but that doesn't bother me a whole lot. But if it bothers you, you might want to rethink a different purse, unless you're like not a clumsy person, but I'm a clumsy person, and so yeah. So the first thing I have in here is an organizer. Ooh, I usually have an organizer in that bag too, but it's on my desk right now because I just finished doing homework. But I also, and like my homework was written in that organizer, but I have a second smaller organizer in this bag. I usually just take this one out when I, um, when I'm traveling, like I'll put all my crap in that bag and then I'll take this one when I travel to, when I, for when I actually do things. And this is usually like my night bag and that, the bigger one's usually my day bag. But I also have my old school iPod in here with my old school iPod charger. And I love this iPod. This is my baby. Um, this is the only iPod I have that fits all my music. And by all my music, I mean all my mom's music because I just, whenever I want to put new songs on my iPod, I just take it to her house and steal all her music because my mom is, she has everything. And so then, um, getting back to like the actual bag, if you can see right here, you can put the straps up and you can just tuck them inside. And so if you don't want to strap it around yourself and you just want to use it as like a handheld clutch, it's that easy. And I've actually, I haven't had this for that long, but um, when I am need to make a really quick trip to the store or something, sometimes it's a pain in the butt to take my big bag because I do usually like have, you know, all my crap in there and I have all a bunch of school supplies in there. So when I'm running to the store or something really quick, um, I usually would just grab my wallet and I would hold my wallet, which that is like a safety concern because I could drop it or get it stolen real easy. So I decided to get this finally for those moments, but I also got it kind of like, I think it's kind of glam, too glam for, you know, running a quick errand, but I think it's also really cute to go with like, um, for like nights out and stuff. So... Yeah, that is it for my what's in my bag video. Like I said, I love watching these videos. I don't know what it is about them. These videos and like Ipsy unboxing videos and subscription unboxing videos, those are my favorite videos to watch. And so I, they're probably going to, and then like I also really enjoyed filming my Ipsy unboxing video. So I think I'm going to make that like a monthly thing. So, but yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, all of my social media is linked down in the bottom. Please subscribe, thumbs up, comment down below, all that jazz. Share with your friends. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.